Okay, um, transportation is a big issue in our community for people going to jobs, school, and medical appointments. While we recognize this, that a full bus system in a town this size isn't financially feasible, how can you, as mayor, lead the community to address this issue? Mr. Thornton will answer first, then Mr. McCamey and Mr. Smith. There is a definite need in our community for more public transportation options. Um, I have, we have, we have known that. That is not really news to the, the local elected officials. It's something that has been talked about for several years. Um, when I was working with the Troop Cares Clinic, uh, one of the biggest issues we had with people who were sick is that they were not able to get back to the doctors for follow-up treatment. And particularly that's an issue for folks with diabetes, high blood pressure, other chronic ailments. It's a definite need. There's no question about that. It comes at a significant cost. There's a significant cost, as the question alluded to, with public transportation systems. You know, we have in place in Troop County the Troop Transit Program. And the Troop Transit Program is a, is a Troop County program that's administered by the Parks and Rec Department that allows for call-ahead transportation for elderly and disabled adults. Um, there are some very specific guidelines about what, what they do provide, and there is a small fee for that. But it's something, that, it's a program that I think is a starting point for our discussion. You know, to talk about costs for a second, the federal government provides significant cost subsidies to the tune of about 80% of capital and 50% of operating expenses for areas that have a, an urbanized population of 50,000. The LaGrange urbanized population is 35,000. So we're below that threshold and therefore not eligible for those federal subsidies. The county does receive some federal subsidy and are actually maxed out on it for a non-urbanized community to help offset the cost of troop transit. But when you compare ourselves to other cities of comparable size, I, 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 looked at this, I looked at this today, and there's 16 cities that the state groups LaGrange with. These are like Noonan, Peachtree City, Dalton, Rome, et cetera. Um, and three of those 16 have public transportation systems, Rome, Gainesville, and Hinesville. But all three of those have urbanized populations in excess of 50,000, and so they get the federal subsidy. My, so my solution here is, and my goal, is to bring together all of, the, all of the stakeholders in, if you will, a transportation summit. I think there are a couple of things we could look at doing. Um, we could certainly expand troop transit. Right now, troop transit is, is limited to the elderly and disabled populations, but we could certainly look at, a, at a, other sources of funding in the community for, to expand that for job applications, interviews, um, other, other purposes. Um, some cities have, have started a, a taxi cab voucher program where there's a little bit of a subsidy provided and that's something we could explore. And finally I think we need to partner with the school system. Rome does that. With Rome's public transportation system because they have a city school system they use the existing city buses to help supplement it. So yes, obvious, it's, a, it's a definite need. There's no obvious solution. It calls for some creativity. I believe uh, a transit system is, is definitely a critical need of our community. Uh, I've worked with uh, employees and also clients in a mental health setting who could, get, who could not get to and from appointments. So I know that it's a definite need. We had a, a strategic uh, project done here about seven years ago by Georgia State University, and they gave us some recommendations. And I reviewed the recommendations. I think there's some things in the, in the uh, particular plan that we could take from. Uh, I do agree that it may become a financial concern for the uh, community, particularly for the city. However, I think we need to begin to think outside of the box. And thinking outside of the bo box, it may, re it may allow us to um, call in some bus companies that may come in and um, do some type of uh, business. We also can look at some entrepreneurship. We may look at some individuals who want to do small businesses that may could put some fleet, some buses on the, on the streets. The city could work to assist the entrepreneurship, particularly with tax breaks, empowerment incentives, employment tax credits, 
and possibly give them free space to help to defray some of the uh, startup costs. This will meet this will meet the needs of all the citizens. Thank you. Okay, uh, thinking inside the box. <laughs> this box got forty million dollars in it. We need to use that to do something for the people of LaGrange. Public transportation is needed. We can do it. Uh, the question, I think, said something about it not being feasible or, or a question of whether it was feasible. It is. There are, the, there are other communities this size that have public tra transportation. We need that much more than we need that fancy hotel on the square. We don't need that. Rich people want that. I don't want it. People who live on this side of town don't need it. Uh, taxi cab, if anybody in here ever called a cab, you know they take two hours to get there if they show up at all. The cab thing is not going to work. School buses, using school buses, that's a good idea. Uh, if there's some way to use uh, school buses that are not being used, I'm all for that. But whatever we do, we need to make sure that we do something for the people of LaGrange and not just for the people that have run this place for the past hundred years and always get their way. It's time for that to change. Thank you.